Imagine this for a second. What if Intel makes a phone chip, like a real one, not a joke, not a failed experiment, an actual mobile chip that goes head-to-head -head with Snapdragon, Apple, and MediaTek? Sounds crazy, right? But maybe not anymore. Because Intel's new 18A process, which is basically Intel's version of 2 nanometer, is suddenly all about battery efficiency, and that changes everything. For years, Intel was the power-hungry PC company. Fast, yes, but terrible for phones. Phones need efficiency first, always. That's why Qualcomm, Apple, and MediaTek dominate. ARM chips sip power. Intel chips used to chug it. But Panther Lake is different. This is Intel finally saying, OK, we get it now. Multi-day battery life, 27 to 30 hours of video playback, strong performance without a dedicated GPU. Those are phone chip goals, not old school Intel goals. So when I look at 18A, I don't just see a laptop chip. I see a doorway. Intel could do three things here. First option, Intel just becomes a foundry monster. Apple designs chips, Qualcomm designs chips, MediaTek designs chips, and Intel builds them. If 18A is truly better or even equal to TSMC's best, those companies will follow the best tech. They don't care about pride, they care about results. Second option, Intel partners deeper. Maybe Snapdragon chips built on Intel 18A. Imagine a future Snapdragon phone that quietly says, manufactured by Intel, on the inside. That would have sounded impossible five years ago. Third option, and this is the bold one, Intel designs its own ARM-based mobile chip, not x86, ARM, built from the ground up for phones, efficiency first, AI first, battery life first. And before you laugh, remember this, Panther Lake is already showing Intel can do efficiency. This chip mix of performance cores, efficiency cores, low power efficiency cores, that's phone logic. That's how mobile chips think. Now let's bring this back to gaming and laptops, because this is where Panther Lake really shocked me. Yes, gaming performance looks good. Cyberpunk running smoothly without a dedicated GPU is impressive. SESS boosts FPS nicely. Ray tracing works better than expected. All cool. But what actually matters to me is this. Battery life while doing normal stuff. Work, browsing, watching videos, light gaming. Panther Lake is promising something Intel laptops never did before. Freedom. Up to 27 hours of Netflix streaming. MSI even saying 30 plus hours of video playback. Even if real-world use is less, that's still massive. Compare that to gaming laptops we know. One hour, maybe two hours of gaming, and you're done. Charger time, loud fans, hot lap. Lunar Lake already improved things. Some laptops got about two and a half hours of gaming. That's solid. If Panther Lake beats that clearly, Intel is finally competing where it matters. Because most gamers like me don't want the absolute best FPS on the go. I want good enough gaming, medium to high settings, smooth gameplay, and a battery that doesn't die in a cafe. That's why AMD's argument doesn't fully land for me. Yes, AMD offers top-tier gaming, respect, but not everyone needs the best. Many of us want balance, and Canther Lake feels balanced. This also ties directly into handheld gaming. Steam Deck-style devices live and die by efficiency. No dedicated GPUs, limited battery, tight thermals. If Intel's XE3 graphics can deliver strong performance at low power, Intel could win big here. Now zoom out again. Phones, tablets, laptops, handhelds. One big picture. Apple already does this. One chip family, many devices. Intel could try the same playbook. 18A is the first time that idea doesn't sound insane. Of course, Intel has failed in mobile before. We remember Atom phones. Bad timing, bad efficiency, bad execution. But this is a different Intel. New leadership, new strategy, real focus on power efficiency. I'm not saying Intel phones are coming tomorrow, but for the first time ever, I'm saying it's possible. And honestly, that's wild. 
we still need real-world testing. Battery claims always sound better on slides, but Panther Lake has me more excited about Intel than I've been in years. If 18A delivers, this isn't just a laptop story. This could be Intel's comeback in the entire mobile world.